Good morning. It is Monday the 1st of June. I love it when the first of the month falls on a Monday. I don't know why, but it just like, quite pleases me. Um, but we've had a lovely weekend. It's been so nice. Stephen was off school last week. Um, it was half term. And the last, well, quite a few days, maybe all week, has been glorious. So we've had a lovely kind of few days in the sun, barbecues, paddling pool. Really nice. Today, 1st of June, I know for a lot of people, we are tentatively reopening schools here in the UK for rece nursery reception, year one and year six. Um, if you fall into that category, you have children in that category, please do let me know. Like, what are you, what have you done? Did you just send, I know it's, it's not compulsory and a lot of people aren't sending their kids back to school. My local authority where I live have um, gone against government guidelines and have recommended or advised that schools don't reopen. So I know a lot of our local schools aren't reopening. I shouldn't say reopening because they've been open for key workers, children, but aren't reopening to, um, to more children, those year groups. Um, I don't know what it's like around the rest of the country, but that's our situation here. I did speak to Stephen's school last week. They phoned to see how Stephen was getting on and their potential plans. And this was before local authorities said advised not to reopen, but they did suggest that because Stephen's in year 10, so he should be sitting, his, well, he will be sitting his GCSEs next year. Obviously, it's an important year. And so they suggested that potentially the 15th of June, I think, that they would start to have those children back into school. I spoke to Stephen last night and to, I think he's just feeling a bit bummed with school because it's more so. So they were off last week, so he didn't have any work to do and everything. And you never want to go back to school, do you? Like the Monday after you've had half term or holidays, or whatever, you never want to go back to school. But he was saying that like, I totally get it. It's like you're getting all the crap bits of school because actually Stephen does quite enjoy school. And then, um, is you're getting all the crap bits of school without the good bits that you got, you've just got to get your work done, you're not seeing your mates and you're not doing all the fun stuff within school, which I kind of get, so I don't know how we're going to approach it. It was like late last night, I'm tired this morning, it was like midnight, that we were having that chat, and so I said, I'm just like, don't worry about it for now, we'll talk about it tomorrow and we'll see. We'll see, so I don't know. So much of me just wants to kind of say to him, don't bother with the work. But um, obviously it's important. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm ready for Joe. About to start. We've had a week off. We haven't done it over the half term. I'm ready, but neither Lava or Stephen have appeared yet, so I don't know whether they're gonna come. The plan was to do Joe all together, but Stephen finally arrived halfway in. I felt a bit sorry for you. So, are you gonna do or no? <laughs> Joe workout done. We are just kind of waiting for Lara to finish a work call and then we're gonna go out for our little daily walk. We're still only going for walks, whereas we're not doing anything other than that. I mean, people have gone crazy, to be honest, in the UK and in my opinion, the things, good weather, because we've had such good weather and people just go out and go to the beaches and just social distancing doesn't seem to be happening very much, but we are still sort of like just doing our daily walks. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna, so when Lara's finished her work call, we're gonna take a walk to, are we still gonna do the quarry? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go to a local little quarry, so Stephen's gonna take his bike and we can ride around, it should be quite nice. We have arrived. It's nice to get out of the sun, to be honest, it's nice and cool in here. Stephen's coming down the slope. Watch Stephen, ready, he's gonna go fast. Whoa! Do you like coming in the quarry? What? Do you like coming in the quarry? Yeah. Hmm. Are you trying to get up that hill? Or are you thinking about coming down it? We missed him! You did it! Oh yes! Now Stephen going past.
fall? You think this is a new fall from the wet storm? Yeah. <coughs> well done. That was a nice time. Best time of the day. The kids have gone for their afternoon nap. Stephen is busy. actually in there doing his schoolwork. No, you can't really see. You can just see the reflection of the garden. But he's there doing some work. He doesn't feel too bad about it. Now it's like actually happening. I think it was more the thought of it last night. So he's he's quite happily getting on with some stuff. He's got some interesting stuff today. Like it's got he's got science that he's got to just do like plastic stuff. He's been finding some plastic around the house, recyclable stuff, and so. I don't think he's minding it too much. He's probably got like good subjects today that he enjoys doing. I think I'm gonna relax, enjoy the sun whilst the kids are in bed. This is my spot on the grass. Relaxation over. We're gonna go in the pool for a little bit. Stephen's already in. Look at these clouds. This is not what we wanted. But we can still enjoy the rest of the afternoon in here. Splash, splash, splash. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning now. And it's been a bit of a rush this morning because our plans are we are it's about half past seven and the kids have had breakfast and everything and we are going. We luckily managed, I don't know how, but we've managed to get a Tesco click and collect slot. We still, like, getting delivery slots is just ridiculous, you can't do it. And then, um, we've managed to get a click and collect, so we are heading over to our nearest big Tesco, but the plan is that we can collect our order between eight and 10, and we're gonna go for, like, a bit of a walk, just to go somewhere different for a walk, cause, like, our Tesco is like, in a different town. So we're gonna go somewhere different for a walk, find some new countryside to walk in. Uh, Steve is not coming, he's staying in bed, because it's a bit early for him. He contemplated coming, but then, he changed his mind. Um, weather's turned rainy, which is a shame, but hey, what are you going to do? We never get like a proper just summer in England, do we, where it's like warm and it stays warm. And to be honest, everything could probably do with a bit of rain. <laughs> We're dressed appropriately. Okay. There's a bit of a queue. Oh. We are back from the walk and the shop. I've just got all the shopping laid out here. I'm gonna put it away now. I'm not gonna do like a proper grocery haul and go through everything, but this is what we got. I've gotta say, I've not done since COVID started. I've always gone to the shops myself and got everything. And oh my goodness, when uh, you collect it, as like a click and collect or whatever. Apparently, my sister was saying something about the amount of plastic that they use is because they can, like they're using plastic bags, so it's quicker. Oh my goodness though, let me show you how much plastic came. Like already, your stuff comes in plastic bags. And like, so normally at the supermarket, I would get like loose bananas. But when I would put loose bananas, I was putting like 15 bananas in my Tesco shop. And it was counting it as like 15 different items. And you can only order 85 items. So, I had to then go back and change it to that, that like, I've got 50 bananas for three products. Oh, it's just, I mean, I don't know. It was the convenience of click and collect was really nice, but the amount of plastic and everything in it does kind of piss me off because look at, I'm just gonna throw them on the floor, the amount of plastic bags. I and mean, honestly, I don't think I can do another click and collect shop. That's the amount of plastic bags that came with that shop. That's just crazy to me. I don't even know how many there are. There's like, maybe like 20 bags there, madness. I am happy that we've now got lots of nice fruit and veg back in the house though because yesterday I did use up the very last fresh fruit and veg that we had in the fridge so I'm gonna put all this away in a little bit to be honest I've got to see to the kids for a bit but there's, there's nothing frozen or anything so it can just sit here and wait whilst I do some things that I need to do. I'm not kind of sure what happened but I just then didn't pick up the camera for the, <laughs> the rest of the week. It's Monday morning and I, I just didn't vlog for the rest of last week, I have no idea why, I mean it was, are you doing that on purpose because I'm talking, <laughs> leave that alone, it was, um, it was a busy week to be honest with like lots of things going on and we had, I don't even know, I just didn't vlog for the rest of the week, whatever, we'll try again this week, <laughs> this week and we'll see, but thank you so much for watching this, was it a day, I don't even know, was it a day, 
was it two days i think oh, i don't know i wasn't gonna bother but then i figured i've got the footage i've half edited it so i may as <laughs> do it oh i don't know i don't know thanks for watching see you next time <laughs> bye